The American ambassador said two statements of facts. She said the last election was the freest and the fairest in the history of Kenya, which is a statement of fact. She said Kenya is open for business, which is also a statement of fact. I mean, surely. Let us, let us have <laughs> some decorum and respect um, ourselves as we demand respect from others. So um, I, I was just imagining between the, uh, the, the people who are orchestrating destruction of property and sabotaging our economy and those who are working with us to create investment opportunities and investment capital for the people of Kenya. Between those two, I was wondering who is actually rogue. I think it's for the people of Kenya to judge. It will be a tragedy of monumental proportions if in this time and age we want to glorify demonstrations that are violent, that destroy property, that destroy people's hassles, that destroy opportunity, that sabotages our economy. I mean, we would be a very reckless uh, people if we were to glorify such. On the other hand, we would be very ungrateful for us to vilify the people who are creating opportunities for us. We have 200 billion investment from the American government. We have huge investments from Germany. We have huge investments from other countries. We must know what are our interests, and we must secure those interests. And I want to encourage all of us as leaders to focus on the things that bring opportunities to millions of young people, to millions of uh, citizens of Kenya. We must not be petty. We must not, you know, be looking at things that are personal. We, we, we want to move this uh, forward.